Hello and welcome to a new episode of Airport CEO where we have a bunch of stuff to do today. We of course need to keep Terminal 1 running and we also still have a few things to do over at Terminal 2 before we can have the grand opening of Terminal 2. One of the things we also want to do in today's episode is to add a few more airlines and actually to have a test run at Terminal 2 and for that we are adding new airlines. One of them will be with Air but we will have more airlines coming in throughout this episode. Now a lot of stuff has happened since the last episode of Airport CEO both on the channel and at the airport. Um, I have let the game run so most of the stuff that uh, was still under construction has actually now been finished. Um, so we should today be able to have a test run at the airport to have airlines come in and then we will see how it will go. There's probably still a lot of stuff um, that will go wrong, especially because I actually still haven't bought any equipment, so we need to do that as well. But first here, we are working on the de-icing because I really couldn't do that before because the stuff hadn't been fully constructed. So it wasn't really feasible to figure out where to place stuff, um, but now we can uh, do that. There's also still a few um, other things. For example, we need to have some vehicle depots around the airport. Um, I will try to have basically in all sides of the terminal building because I want to minimize the, uh, the, the distance for equipment. Uh, that it has to go so it's always close uh, to the stands and I will probably also try to assign some equipment to some vehicle depots just to make sure um, that we are sure always to have some uh, vehicles or some ground, uh, ground service equipment close to the stands. This is all in an attempt to make sure that this airport can run smoothly um, whether it will succeed I don't know yet um, but I will definitely do my best and really try to foresee any uh, obstacles we might have to face in the future. Another thing we of course also want to work on in today's episode, you see this is a little bit all over the place, but it's because we still have a few small details here and there that we need to fix up. And one of the things I want to work on is the front of the terminal where we have passengers arriving. Um, I don't know if it's a new feature, but last time actually I, I discovered there was these taxi stops and it's something I don't think I've seen in the game beforehand. I might be wrong here. Um, but for me, uh, when I noticed that last episode, I thought, wait a minute, I don't think I've seen that before. Um, but anyway, so we will add uh, a bunch of that. So we already have bunch, uh, bunch, a bunch <laughs> of uh, bus stops and now also taxi stops and we will have car stops. So there should definitely not be any problems here for passengers to arrive at the terminal. Um, and yeah, hopefully um, that will also help us to have a smoothly running airport. Another ongoing task, of course, while we are constructing Terminal 2 is to keep Terminal 1 running. And for that, we, of course, always need to work on the schedule of the uh, flight planner um, and adding flights. Of course, Wizz Air is now there and we have a bunch of other airlines. So, of course, we have Scandinavia Airlines and we have a bunch of those because I've uh, subscribed to uh, loads of different uh, Scandinavia Airlines um, mods, I guess it is, on the Steam Workshop. Um, so we have different aircraft types from Scandinavia Airlines and different airlines. You can see here we also have Iceland Air now with the 757. I don't think we had that in the last episode. Uh, might be wrong. Um, of course, we have Norwegian, we have Ryanair, now Wizz Air, and we will be adding more stuff, uh, uh, more or less now, actually. Uh, so let's see. So yeah, I think we will even add more uh, Scandinavian Airlines just to improve there. We also have um, Scandinavian Airlines. Oh yeah, with the new livery, I found that on the Steam Workshop. That's really nice. Um, but I think it's only with the A321. So hopefully there will be more coming on the Steam Shop. Let's see what else we can get. Um, yeah, bunch of Scandinavian Airlines, but this is of course an airline here. Great Dane Airlines, a new airline here in Denmark. Um, and I think that will be it for now. But we are, of course, getting closer to finishing up Terminal 2 and uh, thereby having the airport opening up, the grand opening, where we, of course, will have 
hopefully loads of airlines coming to the airport and i really like to hear your suggestions what airlines you would like to see you can see right now or you've seen already what airlines we already have subscribed to um, so any other uh, airlines that you would like to see at the airport when terminal 2 opens let me know in the comment section below um, and uh, yeah, I will see what I can do. We want to have a bunch of airlines. We will have space because we will have 20 new gates um, at Terminal 2. So there will be loads of space for plenty of airlines to come. And with all these new airlines to come, we of course also need a lot of equipment. And we basically, I think the plan is really to have one of each for each stand. So we have 20 stands. So that means 20 pushback trucks. Uh, trent, trent, twenty, twenty. Uh, as always, English is just a difficult language. Um, actually, not. I'm just unable to pronounce anything correctly. <laughs> um, but yeah, of course, everything um, times one uh, or times twenty, really. So uh, fuel trucks, uh, pushback. As I already said, stairs. Uh, we don't need twenty. We only need five because we only have five remote stands at Terminal 2, but you get the idea. And this might again be completely overkill, especially if I do the schedule myself with the audio scheduler. That's terrible because it just stacks everything up at the same time. So then your the airport gets totally overrun um, and everything will be a mess. But if you scheduled yourself and you, you try to stack it a bit so that you don't have like 20 aircraft coming at the same time, then it's probably overkill to have all the equipment um, uh, or one of each GSE for the stand. But um, on the other hand, money doesn't really uh, matter in this game. And that way we should be safe when it comes to GSE to be sure that we always have enough equipment. Um, although I'm not sure how the game then handles it with uh, staff. We might need to add a lot of staff then. Um, but we seem to have to do that anyway, so I guess the, it doesn't really make any difference. And um, yeah, so we will <laughs> spend a lot of money, although we don't really see it in the game. Uh, and make sure that we just have absolutely enough uh, GSE for the airport so that uh, that won't be a problem. An issue I always seem to run into when I build these airports is, um, well, what is in my head? and what the game understands now in my head i have two terminals right i mean i have the small one and I have the big one here terminal 2 which i'm working on right now but of course in the game or in the game logic it's all one it's one airport it doesn't matter that it's uh, that these buildings are uh, separated between two runways all that doesn't matter so uh, now for example i added a bunch of uh, bus stops and i've added taxi stops and all that stuff and what of course happens now is that passengers arrive, especially the taxi stop is bad because I haven't added, I hadn't, you can see I'm editing it now at Terminal 1, but I didn't have that at Terminal 1 before. So a bunch of people arrive, passengers for flights at Terminal 1 arrive, but they arrive at Terminal 2. Of course, in the game logic, it doesn't, it doesn't change anything. It doesn't matter. It doesn't understand that these are two separate like buildings and operations. So then passengers arrive there and they can't, reach terminal one which is of course stupid um so <laughs> yeah I, I always seem to run into that problem and the only way i know how to fix it is then basically you can switch it all off you can switch off all the taxi stands all the bus stops and all that stuff um which i guess works as long as um terminal one or terminal two isn't operational but once terminal two is operational then we will probably have the same issue again that passengers are arriving at the wrong part of the airport and then we will have to figure out how we solve that issue uh, how we can make sure that people can i guess then walk from one terminal to the other terminal now as always i have recorded this gameplay a little bit in advance to make sure that the video is ready on time um, these videos normally go out on sundays and uh, well today it's monday actually uh yesterday well at the moment that i'm recording this for me yesterday was sunday where i dropped the last airport update from philadelphia airport which you guys seem to enjoy quite much which i'm of course very happy about um and that means that for me wednesday is still 
in the future, but for you, Wednesday will be in the past. <laughs> I don't know if this makes any sense. But anyway, uh, when you are watching this video, I would already have dropped the second teaser for my latest big secret project called Cardiff. And that teaser should, of course, give a little bit more hints as to what we are doing um, with that project. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, if you have watched it, then let me know in the comment section below and let me know what you are thinking about it. Um, and of course, I still haven't really explained what it's all about. And even the teaser, the teaser will show things, but it won't explain much. Um, but for that, I have actually already worked on another video that will uh, drop on um, a Sunday as well, uh, the 27th of October. And that will be a kind of behind the scenes of Cardiff, where I will show um, a lot of the process of making the project, but I will also talk about the project itself and what it's all about. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I, I, um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to your guys' reactions uh, and see what you guys think about it. Because I <laughs> honestly speaking, I mean, uh, I really hope that you guys will like this project because I have recorded it all. I mean, um, well, I have recorded it all. I'm saying that it's not really true. I've recorded all of what is supposed to be season one, which will be eight episodes. Um, that is all recorded. I've already started editing it. Um, so I really hope that you like that because otherwise, uh, yeah, it will be many months of work for nothing. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> um, not nervous at all. And yeah, and then of course, if you guys like it, um, I really hope so, then uh, I will at some point have to start working on season two, but that is for the future. Um, and I think I will do season two in any case, because otherwise, uh, well, I can't really say why, otherwise it wouldn't make sense. But um, yeah, anyway, uh, for you guys who watched the second teaser, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, and on the 27th, there will be uh, a video coming out, which will go much more into depth about the project shortly before the project then actually uh, starts. The first episode will be on the 29th of October, which of course is the birthday of the channel, which will be the fifth anniversary of the channel. So um, that is the link as to why I'm making this series, of course. But enough talk about that, because otherwise uh, I will start actually saying stuff that I don't want to reveal at the moment. Uh, and of course, uh, all this talk, actually, I don't know how much sense it makes for you guys, because I'm not really explaining much. I'm just saying stuff without actually saying much. Uh, so apologies for that. But yeah, so um, while I'm uh, working on my favorite things to work on, it seems in this game, uh, and that would be staff rooms and uh, bathrooms, because I build them a lot. Um, it, it is, of course, also true that I'm working on a lot of other things. And one of the things that I'm working on uh, is, of course, my regular airport updates from uh, Philadelphia Airport. The last one was actually delayed by a week. I tried to get one out one month, uh, one one episode out every month uh, and um, at the last Sunday of every month. I didn't manage to do that in September because I was ill for a few days. Uh, so I lost a lot of time. Um, so the airport update got out one uh, week late. So in the uh, beginning of October, but um, I would like to have an episode also a second episode, I guess that would be then in October. So for the end of October, so we are back to our normal schedule once a month at the end of the month. Um, and yeah, so actually what I've also been doing today, other than um, recording this gameplay, uh, is actually to set up um, a new display uh, of Philadelphia Airport um, so that I can record it uh, in the next few days so that I will have a new Airport Update episode ready for you guys uh, at the end of the month. And um, if I'm really... Um, 
disciplined, I would say, uh, then I might even be uh, setting up um, more displays so that I can record them and ahead of time. So then I can make sure that I have a November episode for you guys and a December episode. That would be really cool. Um, that would uh, give me a time a little bit to relax later in the year. And I would be sure that I have uh, episodes for you guys ready of uh, airport updates from Philadelphia International Airport. Now we do actually already have our first aircraft here at Terminal 2. This is of course a test run to see how things are going and some things are running smoothly, some not. It looks really nice, the A321 in the new SAS livery. Um, one of the things that seems to be running smoothly is the whole, the whole procedure with the GSE. Passengers also seem to uh, be able to uh, check in and uh, there is then the first issue because uh, there's something going on with the security checks. Um, they seem not to be manned, although we should have plenty of uh, security officers. Uh, but yeah, these are small things that we need to figure out. Um, yeah, in the next few days, hours in the gameplay, I don't know. Anyway, before we have the grand opening. So the next thing we of course also want to work on, um, so we have that ready for the grand opening. Uh, I seem to say that a lot in this episode. Um, is uh, all the gates that we have for the remote stands. We of course have them um, on the ground to save some, some space. So um, yeah, we need to uh, finish construction of uh, that. Um, there will be a lot of uh, access space here uh, and that of course we could use for shops uh, if we want to do that at some point um, for now I think it will just focus on actually um, well getting the the gates ready with the uh, waiting area and all that so this is actually a design that I have um, used in a bunch of other airports that I have built just uh, for myself um, and I quite like it. Uh, so basically here yeah, having the, the gates with the remote stands underground. So after security, you, you get people underground. Then you have this area because there you can then have plenty of space uh, to work with. And you build it at the end of uh, or one end of the terminal. Uh, and then you just have stairs up to where you have the bus stops for the passengers so they can reach the stands. Um, that way you have uh, most of um, well the basically front hall uh, at ground level free uh, so you, you then have plenty of space for your check-in desks and stuff like that so I actually quite like that um, obviously it's inspired by real life um, you see that many other places really where you have that um, I think they have, yeah, for example Frankfurt they definitely have that at 8 plus I think in terminal 1 um, they have uh, of course loads of uh, remote uh, stands uh, all over the airport and gates for them uh, but at A plus I think they have one section where you I, well, I actually don't really go underground but you do actually go to ground level um, but uh, yeah anyway this is obviously inspired by real life and um, it has so far always worked for me and um, it's a way to save a bit of space on ground level in the game Another thing I need to check out before the next episode is um, the security checks because I don't think they quite work. They seem to be bugged out a little bit. Um, I might just have to restart the game. Uh, they, I mean, you can see them. They they are open, but they're not really. Uh, they're un, understaffed, I guess that's what the symbol means. But you can see this one. That wasn't staffed. But it was fine until I closed it and opened it again. Now it's not staffed. So and the other one seemed to be staffed, but it says that it's not. So yeah, uh, this seems to be bugging out a little bit. Um, but I'm sure we can fix it somehow. Might also just be the case that I need to hire even more staff, more security officers, who knows. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is all still a test run, so it doesn't really matter if things go wrong. And in any case, unfortunately, it doesn't matter because they still haven't fixed the issue that money doesn't matter. So 
Um, all these contracts with airlines, they don't matter because there's no bonuses and if airlines are upset, it doesn't really change anything. I really hope they will will change that because that will raise the stakes a little bit in the game and, and um, yeah, uh, because right now all this doesn't really change anything uh, and that's, well, I mean, a little bit sad, I guess. <laughs> uh, at least for, for, for gamers who like to try to make something realistic and uh, try really hard to make something run smoothly. There isn't really anything to gain from it here in this game, at the moment at least. But yeah, I mean, this episode is now getting a little bit long, so I think it is time to call it a day. And uh, as always, of course, saying thank you for all of you who have stayed till the end of the video. If you have, let me know in the comment section below. All of you who watched the teaser for the second teaser for Cardiff, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any tips or hints for the game, as always, I'm always happy to hear from you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, so with that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching and hope to see you uh, next Sunday, I guess, for the next episode of Airport CEO. Until then, take care. Thanks for watching again. I'm checking out and bye.